It's that time again. Time for another Apple special event. Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday. Uh, originally, I was supposed to record this vlog earlier this morning and watch the event live uh, because Dan was going to be over here. Um, but he got here a little bit late and then we quickly realized that uh, if you miss the beginning of the event, you can't go back in time while the event is going on and it became impossible to actually watch it while it was still live if you weren't watching it like right as it was going. So, uh, long story short, I'm now recording this uh, in the evening after the event has already ended. I haven't seen the event yet. In fact, I've tried to be very careful to not be spoiled of anything from the event, and I've done a pretty good job today. Uh, from what I understand, the event is going to be covering um, iPad. This is, these are r the rumors. It's, it's going to be iPad, and it's going to be um, some Mac stuff. Uh, Mac MacBook Air, I think? And then also there's rumors that there's going to be an upgraded Mac Mini, which is a pretty big deal because we haven't seen a new one of those in a hot minute. So I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but I'm going to start watching it, um, and we'll, <laughs> we'll see what they talk about. So they opened up with a little uh, video about New York, because this is actually taking place in New York, and I believe I read something on Mac Rumors that this is like their first time back like to New York, but then also like to the East Coast in quite a while. Most of these Apple events take place on the West Coast, so that's kind of a big, uh, kind of a big deal for them. So they're starting this presentation off with the Mac, which is exciting to me. I'd love to see some updates to that. And uh, they're showing Smaller. off... Yeah, they're, they're showing off just fa there's you two, uh -huh. Bono. They're, sh they're showing off just basically famous people using Mac books. One of them was Hideo Kojima. Um, and like I had to do a double take, I was like, is that Hideo Kojima? But Hideo Kojima has such a like very specific look about him. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was just a bunch of famous people, including Kermit the Frog, which was, I guess, a funny so inclusion. Sorry, but... There was a part here that was a little telling, where they showed their entire Mac lineup. The iMac, the various notebooks, the Mac Mini, and the Mac Pro was absent. And that's to be expected, because they're no longer pushing that trash can that they made in 2013. And they've already announced that they have a new Mac Pro coming out next year. It was just really interesting to see that entire lineup, and the Mac Pro is just absent from it. So the first product to get an update today is the MacBook Air, which is fair because I, I believe it's actually been quite some time. And basically what they're doing is they're taking a lot of the same big features from the MacBook Pros and putting them into the MacBook Air. So it has a retina display, it has Touch ID, it has a bigger trackpad, it has a nicer keyboard, um, it has all these different things. And apparently it has two Thunderbolt 3 ports, which is not very many ports, but I guess if you're using MacBook Air you need less ports? I don't know, you're probably still gonna need some dongles. So the rumors were true, Mac Mini is getting an update. It has been, I mean, it feels like a million years, honestly, since the Mac Mini was updated. I kind of assumed it was dead. Um, I'm really curious to see what's in it now. So the Mac Mini is better, as one would expect. One thing I found very interesting is that it's got a ton of ports on the back. Right before they showed the ports, they said, we know that our customers love ports. And I'm thinking, the last product you showed had two ports. Two USB-C ports, Thunderbolt 3 and that was it. This has got four Thunderbolt 3. The unusual thing is that it also has two USB-A, which I thought we'd never see again in an Apple product, but no. USB-A is still alive. Probably because they realize we're tired of buying so many dongles. The next product is an iPad Pro. They updated it, and all they've done is show a 30-second video. There is a standing ovation. People are very excited that, I, I guess, it's smoother and also the pencil... I was excited about the pencil. Because the pencil, like, magnetizes to the side. It charges. And it looks like it, it charges the pencil. And that's cool. That's pretty cool. Apparently it's worth a standing ovation. <laughs> so the iPad is better, as as you would expect. It's it's a new iPad Pro, and it, they are using Face ID, and it goes edge to edge. The thing that was really interesting to me is that they have officially ditched Lightning, which was a rumor we've been hearing for quite some time. And it makes sense, um, but this is going to be using USB-C. And apparently you can use it to charge your phone, which is also, you know, pretty neat. 
Lana Del Rey. I'm just going to stop it there because I don't have any interest in listening to a musical performance while I'm learning about tech. Uh, I'm going to presume that there's nothing after this. It seems reasonable that there's nothing after this. Apparently it's like a 10 minute performance. This is not all that unheard of. They do this occasionally. And they're in a music hall. And they're in a music hall, so it makes sense. I will never forget whenever Bono came out and played and they're like, Hey everyone, you are going to go home today with the album. It's on your phone. And it's very hard to get rid of. <laughs> Thanks, Apple. We appreciated it. So that's the, uh, that's the Apple event. Um, I have to admit... I have some levels of disappointment because what I really wanted to hear about today was the, the Mac Pro. That's what I wanted to know about. And I didn't get to hear about that. Now, that being said, I can understand why, because they probably don't want to be like, hey, everyone, look at these other computers. You know, look at look at the Mac Mini. It's got all these cool pro features. It's, you know, much heftier. Look at the, the, the MacBook Air. Check it out. And then say, hey... There's a computer that we're working on. Just hold on for X many more months, six or nine more months. No, they want to say, oh, you want a computer? Buy the ones that we have here. But uh, sometime next year, we're supposed to hear about the Mac Pro. That being said, this was still a pretty good event. It depends what you are in the market for, but like the MacBook Air is considerably better. The Mac Mini is considerably better. The, the iPad Pro is leaps and bounds better. Um, if you are in the market for any of those particular products, I get now's the time. If you just bought one of those products and this special event made you go, oh god, I wonder if I can still return it, uh, maybe try. Um, because the, the, the products that did get upgrades are pretty significant upgrades. Um, again, MacBook Air and Mac Mini haven't been touched in a while. iPad Pro, I think we had an up update to last year, but this is a pretty significant jump. Um, USB-C, changing the entire display so it's edge to edge, Face ID, um, there's a lot of changes in all of these products that are good. So yeah, I mean not the most diverse range of products, but if you're interested in any of these particular ones, I think this was a, a fairly definitively, objectively good special event. Good job, Apple. I'm still, you know, very much waiting to, to hear about Mac Pros, but I guess we'll hear about that next year. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if there was anything in this particular special event that caught your eye, maybe you ordered something after this event, maybe you've been waiting for a new MacBook Air or something like that, let me know. Uh, I'm mostly curious uh, about the iPad Pro audience. We don't have an iPad Pro. Um, I got Mao an iPad back in August, and that's all we've really needed. But even Mao was pretty impressed with some of the iPad Pro uh, features, specifically the magnetic pencil. You know, that's, that's pretty, it seems very, very helpful, but um, there's a lot of different things that are designed that, uh, you know, it's, it's a good, it's a good device. Uh, you certainly pay for it. The price difference between the normal iPad and the iPad Pro is fairly extreme, but if you can use the iPad Pro, it does look like it's a pretty good, pretty good thing. And also like a, a computer replacement. Um, Looks like you could certainly get by just using an iPad Pro. Anyway, talk about the event, talk about Apple products, and um, as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?